Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Kerry and Anna from the Active IQ marketing team and we are joined by yet another finalist of this year's World Skills AOC Fitness Trainer Competition. And we are joined today by the lovely Anna Crowley, uh, who is also from the City of Glasgow College. So hi Anna. Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you guys? We are, we are very, very well. And do you, do you reside in Glasgow? Are, are you are you in the lovely or are you, are you somewhere else in, in the I'm Scotland? somewhere else. So currently I'm in Aberdeen. So can you first let us know, Anna, how you heard about the competition before and, and how you got involved with the competition and, and, and why you wanted to do it, I guess? So I heard about it from my lecturer at college. I did my HND at the City of Glasgow College and my lecturer told me about the competition and he thought I'd be a good fit for it. So he recommended I maybe take part. And um, yeah, I decided to take it on as I thought it'd be a really good chance to gain some experience and meet some other folk as well that were doing a similar thing, so. Fantastic. I have to say, you seem very, very calm. The fact that we are mere days away from the finals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe, but I, I am nervous um, for sure. I am really nervous actually, but I'm excited too. And I think that having a little bit of nerves is a good thing. Um, because if I didn't, maybe I would think like, maybe I don't really care about it or I'm not too fast of the outcome, which is, which I am, I would like to do well. So I think a little bit of nerves is, is always yeah. good when you're heading I, into a I, I agree. I, I think all of the finalists and, and uh, certainly all of the winners so far have always had a bit of nerves. So, 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 so yeah, I, I agree with you. N nerves, <laughs> good nerves are a good thing. So. Yeah. yeah. I think it, it comes so part keep part under control. <laughs> Absolutely. I think it comes part of the parcel. If you don't have the nudge, it means you don't care about it. And yeah, like you say, so it's fantastic. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself, your background? Yeah, um, well, to do with fitness and health, I've been kind of um, in this for a little while now. Um, in high school, I took a course to do with exercise and health science, and this kind of really sparked my interest in it. I've always played sports in my personal life and, and been a part of um, a variety of different sports at competitive levels. Um, but then when I took that exercise science course, it sparked my interest in kind of learning more about it and the science about it. Um, and then I decided to go into um, college to further study this. And I did um, exercise and health science, or sorry, fitness health and exercise science first. Now I'm studying exercise and health science. So I did my first two years at college um, and that was fitness, health and exercise, which got me my level two and level three um, qualifications to get me to the personal trainer level. And then now I'm currently studying my exercise and health science degree. So I'm in my mm -hmm. third year of that. Um, so that's kind of my educational side of things. And then, yeah, personally, I've always just been involved in um, sport. I played basketball, ice hockey. I highland danced, um, soccer. Um, yeah, lots of, lots of different sports, track and field. And now I took it kind of more into um, gym-based exercise. So less... Um, of like the um, team sports and more into working in a gym environment, which I love. So that's kind of where I'm sticking at. Fantastic. So is the, the science side of things with to do with fitness something you're very interested in? Um, I really love physiology and anatomy. Um, that's kind of like, I, I enjoy the nutritional um, stuff as well. But um, so far from what I've been studying, I really enjoy the physiology and anatomy um, mm -hmm. part of it. And you mentioned... Um, that you, you did the Highland Fling is is this something we're going to be seeing on the weekend <laughs> no way <laughs> Highland dancing no I gave up that a few years ago now and I don't think I'll be bringing it forward anytime soon <laughs> that, that's a bit disappointing to hear Anna because yeah. uh, I'll, I'll be honest with you you your, your, your counterpart from City of Glasgow that that Jamie uh, has already promised Anna that he was going to do a Kaylee with her so, yeah. so I'm, I'm, I'm hoping the three of you are, are, are going to get involved with this Oh, right. No, I'll leave that up to him. He must have dancing <laughs> up his sleeve but as it, well. It then. sounds like you've, you've got the background. You've got the, you know, you've got the professional at heart here. So, um, <laughs> when, <laughs> Anna, you, you have to convince Anna. Yeah, to I'm going to have to make him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so clearly, Anna, you've always loved fitness. Uh, did, did you get obviously get involved with fitness as, as, as a young child? Because clearly it's something that you've always been doing a lot of. And, and you said you, you did it competitive, competitively as well. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, when I was over in, I, I'm from Canada, so when I was over in Canada, um, I did basketball competitively and Highland dancing competitively, a little bit of 
track and field, but I didn't take that very far. Basketball, I played um, for my province. Um, I represented my province in the Alberta Summer Games. Um, and I have also taken my, my high school to provincials as well and represented my um, as part of a team, obviously that was with basketball and represented the school there. Um, for Highland dancing, I went to nationals in Vancouver as well. Um, but that was actually towards the end of my kind of career in Highland dancing. I stopped shortly after that. So um, that's kind of what I did with sporting in terms of competitive, uh, the competitive side of things. I also um, did a little bit of coaching with basketball and I also did um, some Highland dance teaching as well as like a, an assistant dance teacher. Um, I never took that further to do my um, full teaching qualification um, just as I, I kind of stopped um, participating in it um, after a few years of doing it. So, yeah. Oh, well, I think we should uh, get you back involved with it. And, 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 and I think you use Anna as, 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 as your student. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's been a while now. I'm not too sure I'd be, uh, I'd be the prime person to be teaching anymore. <laughs> Bless you. All right. So have you always wanted to maybe like take your passion clearly with the fitness in, in, into working in the industry? Is, is that something that's always been a goal goal of yours? Yeah, so I remember when I was 14, uh, my career advisor um, kind of, I was deciding on my courses for high school and she, and I, and right away then I remember saying like, the only thing I've really been interested in is um, like, yeah, physical activity um, and at school it was P and then the exercise science and stuff. Um, and then when I finished high school, I was kind of like, mm, like the only thing that I am interested in is uh, health and fitness and so then when I started looking up courses and I find that um, fitness health and exercise HND I was like okay this sounds perfect like it's the only thing I could consider myself um, studying further so I just went for it and and I love it love it so much and then um, I loved the the part of the course that I would get my level two and level three because I had decided that that was definitely something that I wanted to be doing and I didn't know if it would be like my final like destination but I knew it was something I wanted to do along the way for sure fitness is is a big part of your life and has always been in in the future have you got a dream goal of where you see yourself currently i my goal is to run um a successful online coaching business because i really really value freedom um and the ability to travel so that's something that i'm quite interested in just now and i have started doing a little bit of online coaching so i i love doing that um and if I kind of settle in a place where I'm like, yep, this is where I'm going to stay, then owning a premises would definitely be something that I would uh, potentially want to do. If I continue on the, the kind of route of wanting to do self-employed work, then that would be something that I would potentially like to uh, pursue. So, yeah. yeah so, so you're looking at more of like an on online than the than face-to-face initially and then, then going on yeah. to face-to-face. Yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, I just really do value like... Um, mm freedom and the ability to travel obviously yeah. COVID has kind of put a stop to that but like in the last couple of years but um I would be interested in growing online um for sure and then then see what happens in the future I suppose fantastic so last year's competition was obviously all online and this mm -hmm. year we're, we're going face to face at Loughborough College how, how do you feel about going face to face this year I'm really pleased it's face to face um, for a couple of reasons, but in the previous stages doing uh, online sessions is um, a little bit difficult, like over Zoom and that you, it's hard to portray your skills maybe as well. Um, and it's just a little bit different than what I had ever been used to. I've always done in-person classes, group training and stuff. So um, it, was, it was different. So it was a little bit um yeah, I'm looking forward to it being in person because I think um, I'll be able to showcase myself a little bit better and also meet other folk. It'll be really nice to all just be um, together in one place doing it, although it might be smaller than usual. It's just nice to have everyone um, down there face to face. I think I'm looking forward to it. So can you tell us about your journey in the competition so far? So, of course, the, there was the heat earlier in the year, which I'm sure seems like a million miles away now. Uh, can you tell us about, you know, what you got up to there? And, of course, about your preparation for the finals itself this weekend? Yeah, so I think the initial thing we did was, like, just a, a test, an online test, I'm sure it was, to kind of um, all about health and fitness, see if, see if we were kind of had the knowledge to do it. Um, and then after that, it was a promotional video, 
um just kind of yeah uh what you offer what services you offer how people can get in touch with you um and then it was a one-to-one -one or a small group online session um done by zoom and then now we're here at the finals so um a few different events at the finals to prepare for which i have been preparing for and trying to really read that criteria because there's lots of nitty-gritty things so i don't want to miss anything out but yeah just preparing for that um over the week i'm just going to have a review of the criteria again make sure i'm prepared with my client and then i guess we'll just hope for the best <laughs> It sounds like you're fully prepared because uh, it, it's really good that you mentioned the criteria because because normally uh, we go oh we've got a bit of a top tip from uh, Angus at AOC and it's like read the criteria you know <laughs> uh, but the fact that you've already mentioned it, it's like it sounds like you're on the ball it's, it's, yeah. it, sounds, it sounds like you've got everything covered <laughs> hopefully <laughs> bless you so, so so do you feel fully prepared for the weekend um, yeah, I think um, by the end of the week, especially like I'm going to go through a few more things, but I think I'll be prepared as I can be because at the end of the day, you never really know what's going to happen on the day and I just hope that I perform um, the way I know that I can. Um, it's just hopefully on that day, um, everything will everything will work out for me and also everybody else. I hope everyone else has an enjoyable time of the competition as well. But yeah, I think I'm as prepared as I can be. Oh, fantastic. And, and are you traveling down for competition with your, uh, sort of obviously the, the other person from City of Glasgow College, so Jamie, is that, is that um, right? Well, actually, like he is going down a separate way just because I'm mm -hmm. so far. So it's just, it just made more sense for me to leave yeah. from Aberdeen and him to go down from Glasgow. But we'll uh, meet up when we're down there. So. No, no doubt. And, and of course, I mean, you are competitors as well. I mean, of course, <laughs> I'm sure friendly competitors, but, but, but you are competitors, right? yeah of course yeah i suppose so i've not really thought about it too much like that but yeah definitely we are i mean there's only one goal and there's two of us so <laughs> i love that <laughs> it sounds like there's gonna be a bit of a battle yeah maybe a little <laughs> bit because <laughs> uh I, I should tell you because obviously we you know we, obviously we did say of course um uh, I think it was 2019 that City of Glasgow placed bronze uh, that obviously, and, and the, lovely, the lovely Andrew took a bronze back in 2019 uh, so of course you know there's got to be a medal medal or medals due to go back to Scotland this year right? Yeah hopefully I hope so. <laughs> and will yeah. you be donning the Scottish flag as you come down into Loughborough College? I think I'll have to go buy one first. <laughs> but yeah, maybe. Get one at the airport. The, the, yeah. the, the airport's always good. <laughs> but but of, of course, you said you've got Canadian roots as well. So will, will you have both there? Uh, will you have like two, oh, two flags? No, there? I'm only representing Scotland. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm only representing Scotland. So, yeah. Brilliant. so it's team scotland so of course is it fair to say then that of course you're taking the gold and of course you know jamie obviously is going to take silver yeah we'll go with that hopefully <laughs> <laughs> but you know what either way either way um if we both place that would be amazing so um that's yeah, the we'll goal so, 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 so the goal is to get two places in the, in the in the top three right for scotland yeah, yeah? that would be that would be fantastic there we go. Yeah. Brilliant. I, I, I love that. I love, I love that spirit. So can you tell us then how, how you found out, obviously, when you found out you were a finalist, you know, how did you celebrate? I mean, you know, what was your reaction? Oh, I think I was on holiday when I found out. So it was just like a little bit of icing on the cake. I am pretty sure I was abroad. So, <laughs> so um, but yeah, I only actually, I've not really told very many people. I put it up on my um, Instagram account last week because that's kind of where I, um, put up is my um client stuff business stuff so yeah. I popped it up there last week but I've kept it pretty much um under the table I guess to myself but um yeah uh, I didn't really I didn't really celebrate too hard like in that in that sense but um I just kept it to myself and work hard behind the scenes you know so Anna you just mentioned your business there so can you give us a little bit a little bit more information about that uh, you know of, of course how, how can people potentially find you uh, you know uh, you know to, to get in, in contact with you about PT and skills and things like that yeah so um as kind of social media is such a big thing like in today's society that's where I put myself like I only started this a couple three months ago but that's where I kind of put myself up on fast to get my face out there um and so, yeah, my Instagram handle is AC Fitness. Um, 
full stop with an underscore to finish off. Um, so people can find me there um, predominantly, to be honest, that's kind of where I put everything up. I also have a link where you can click to work with me or message me on there as well. So that's kind of where I um, put myself for now. Um, and then um, we'll see in the future, maybe website or something, but not just yet. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, of course, of course, if you need any help, obviously, you know, you're, you're, you're meeting the right person on the weekend and I'm sure can obviously like give you some tips, top tips. Yeah. And, and you've got a new follower of Act from Active IQ. So yeah, yeah, excellent. If you have any follow on social media, thanks for that as well. So, uh, so yeah, so of course, guys, get in contact with Anna, you know, you've, you've got all the details now. So, uh, and we obviously yeah. we look forward to seeing your uh, career flourish, which, which I'm yeah. sure we'll do. Uh, and of course, more excitingly, um, wishing you all the best luck for the weekend. Uh, I'm, I'm very excited to see obviously what Team Scotland bring. Um, mm. You know, so I'm expecting to see like, lots of flags and, uh, you know, see if we can convince you to do the Highland fling, but at least a little few, at least a few steps of Scot Scottish dancing. Would be fantastic. <laughs> no, we're going to leave that one to uh, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 maybe you could judge him then. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> maybe, there we go. Maybe you could judge him going, oh, well, you know, not bad. Mini competition. <laughs> So, and uh, we wish you all the best of luck for the finals. Uh, let, let's fingers crossed, obviously, see if we get some medals back to Scotland uh, for, for you. And uh, yeah, good luck. All right, Anna. Lovely Thank to you meet you. Much. Thank you. Great to meet you, darling. Take care. You as well. Bye. Bye. Bye.